Good morning and welcome to the Kingdom Seekers Radio Broadcast, where Jesus is Lord. Well, bless God for another day, for another privilege and glorious opportunity to share with you a living word from God. I have a word for you today. Oh, God, do I have a word. First of all, I want to say thank you to our forefathers and the great work of uh, the late great doctor Martin Luther King Jr. God bless him and his family and loved ones and all the work that was done, not just for one race of people, but for everybody. Just a great work that was done. I'm grateful that we have an opportunity to, to be thankful in that. <laughs> Glory to God. I thank God for all that was done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Boy, let's get into prayer and get into word. I mean, this, this thing is burning. I, I've started this uh, obviously last week. Um, but I really stayed with it this morning, about 4 or 4.30. Got in the Word, got in prayer, got back in the Word again. So this thing, this thing is burning. It's burning in my spirit today. Jeremiah said that it's like a fire shut up in my bones. Glory be to God. I give praise to God for His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, for making me a minister of the gospel. I, I, I take pleasure uh, and count it an honor to be able to preach the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. I also want to quickly take a moment and thank God for my bishop, Dr. Glenn A. Staples. Uh, he is my senior pastor at the Temple of Praise. The Temple of Praise is located at 700 Southern Avenue in Southeast Washington, D.C. That's where I came in contact with this great man named Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, uh, Bishop Staples preached the word that day and opened up the doors of the church. I went down the aisle sat down, they took me in the back and prayed with me, and I've been there ever since. Four years later, I am doing absolutely wonderful. So I thank God for Jesus, for my pastor, Dr. Glenn A. Staples, for my assistant pastor, uh, Pastor Walter Lamar Staples. The Temple of Praise is a powerful place. 700 Southern Avenue, Southeast Washington, D.C. Services are every Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m. Every Sunday, there are three services, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 p.m. If you're ever in the District, Maryland, or Virginia, Stop by and get yourself a word from God. You will not be disappointed. The praise is high and the word is anointed. Glory to God. And the people walk in love. I thank God for the temple of praise. Also quickly thank God for the apostle, Dr. Anthony T. Mays, who is the president and CEO of this great ministry known as World Power Gospel Radio. It's an honor to be connected to someone that is getting the gospel out to the nations. Powerful, powerful thing. I thank God for it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we turn this broadcast over to you. We plead nothing but the blood of Jesus. We don't, we don't come before you based upon our works. We don't come before you based upon anything we did, good or bad. We, we, we wholly lean on Jesus' name. We trust the Holy Spirit of God to show up in this studio to play. Lord, as I, as I sit behind this sacred desk, this holy place, this is holy ground, we welcome your presence. We welcome the Holy Ghost. We welcome your power. Do, do with this broadcast today what you want to do. We pray for your plan, for your purpose, for your pursuits, for your will to be accomplished in this place today. We know from your word that you desire all men to be saved. So we agree with your word that today souls will be saved. We know you want folk healed, so we agree with your word. By Jesus' stripes, they will be healed today. There will be deliverance, there will be salvation, for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Every time your Spirit shows up, God, we thank you that burdens are removed, yokes are destroyed, men and women are set free, Jesus, and we bless you for it. Have your way. We lose angels in this place. Angels of the Lord that excel in strength, that do my Father's commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. See to it that people get the help they need today. Father, we thank you that the enemy is bound, for it is written in your word. No weapon that is formed against us is going to prosper, and that in the name of Jesus we can cast out demons. And so I take authority today. I bind principalities. I bind powers and rulers of the darkness of this world. I bind and cast down spiritual wickedness in high places. You have no, no authority here, Satan. The blood of Jesus speaks against you. You will not hinder the word of God. And I decree that the word of God will have free course and be glorified. And souls will be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. 
If you have a Bible, please open it up to the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians. My bishop preached from the book of Ephesians yesterday as a homework assignment uh, Wednesday night. He told us to be, read chapter 2. Uh, so I did that. And then he came back yesterday morning uh, and, and preached a powerful message. Actually, he ministered. That's actually the better word. Because uh, ministering, you can teach and preach and, and serve people the word. And so he did some expository uh teaching yesterday from the book of Ephesians, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I hope he goes back to it. It was really good uh, from the book of Ephesians. Today I'll be coming from chapter 1, from chapter 1. Let's read uh, three verses. Two of them will be in chapter 1, then we'll flip over to chapter 4. And let's take our time and get something from God today. There's no rush. I've said this in the past. God is eternal. There's really no such thing as time with God. Time was instituted for man. That's for us. Um, God always has been, always will be. Do you know that the Bible says Jesus was the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world? As far as God is concerned, it's already done. Glory to God. So, so, so your victory is done. Your, your deliverance is done. Everything that you hope for, desire, want and need. It's done in the eyes of God. He, he has a plan and a purpose that's already laid out for you. The Bible says in the same book of Ephesians, we are created, uh, his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. He's already pre-planned this thing. He has a plan and a purpose for you. It's already laid out. So, so everybody take a deep breath. And just relax. The devil is defeated. Victory is yours. The blood of Jesus has already been shed. God's already got your husband ready for you. He's got your wife ready. All the things that you, he's got that stuff ready for you already. Let, let's, let's do what Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 33. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That, that's God's way of doing things. God's government, God's desires must come first. The other stuff are just byproducts of his mercy, just byproducts of his grace, um, byproducts of his goodness. You, when you get Jesus, he is the blesser. He will bless you. His, his mere presence will turn your life around. Getting Jesus on the inside um, brings a peace that passes all understanding. The, the key is to put him first. Are you hearing me this morning? Put him first. So, so everything's already laid up for us. So, so let's open up our hearts and minds and just receive a word from our, from our father today. From our, from our Abba, the Bible calls him. Our daddy. He loves us. He's our creator. So, so let's just humble ourselves before the authority of his word. Because the Bible says, in the book of Psalms, God has exalted all his word, his, his word above his name. So, so if we exalt the word, the word will exalt us. If we put the word first, the word will lift us up. Make us the head and not the tail. Above only and not beneath. The lender and not the borrower. The word of God must be primary. Primary. Book of Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 13 and 14. In whom you also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Say that with me. Sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. Chapter 4 and verse 30, same book, Ephesians. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby we are, watch this, sealed, say that again with me, sealed until the day of redemption. I like to use the subject today, just for a little while, we'll probably have to finish it tomorrow. Sealed. For your protection. Sealed for your protection. In 1982, uh, there was uh, what was called a 
a series of murders, a, the Tylenol murders. Some of you may remember that. Um, a series of poisoning deaths as a result of drug tempering. Uh, that happened in the Chicago metropolitan area. Um, to my knowledge, about seven people died um, from capsules that were laced with potassium cyanide. Um, I did some reading on that, and I found out that they never caught those culprits. Um, but one thing is for sure, uh, I thought about this just this morning, whoever the person or persons are, um, I'm convinced that one, they're murderers, of two, um, they're definitely under some type of demonic influence, and uh, I also believe they will not escape the judgment of God. That has to be dealt with. That has to be dealt with. Um, these incidents led to some reforms in the packaging of over-the-counter medications. Are you hearing me? Um, manufacturers were required, listen to me carefully, they were required to make their products, watch this, tamper-proof, um, to add safety seals to their products and to warn consumers that if this seal is broken, don't buy it, don't use it, and that this product, is sealed, watch this, for your protection. Are you hearing me? Now, the Bible says, to go to Ephesians chapter 2. I told you we're going to take our time. The Bible says in verse 1, And you has he quickened, or God made us alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past we walked according to the course of this world, According, here's the phrase I want to pull out of here, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. In other words, there is an evil spirit out there by the name of Satan, the devil. He doesn't care anything about you. You heard me correctly. The devil doesn't care anything about you. Jesus called him a thief. In the Gospel of John, he went a little bit further and said that the thief cometh not, but for to steal, watch this, kill and destroy. That's why I said the person who tampered with that Tylenol product and, and laced it with potassium cyanide um, was under the influence of the demonic force. That was the work of Satan. Are you hearing me? So, so Satan works through children of disobedience. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a copycat, a counterfeiter. Um, he works through his children the way God works through his Holy Spirit, the way God works through his holy angels, the way God works through his holy people or his saints. Satan works as an evil spirit. He works through his demon and he works through his children of disobedience. Let me give you some more scripture real quickly. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4. The Bible says, Um whom the God of this world, little g, the God of this world, has blinded the minds of them which, well, that don't believe the gospel. He's blinded their minds. 2 Timothy 2 and 27, 26 says, They are taken on snare and captive by the enemy to do his will. They're trapped. Um, they're under this sway. Of, of, of the demonic forces. Are you hearing me? And so Satan has people and demons tampering with your life. The same way these murderers tampered with their Tylenol. He has them tampering with your marriage. The same way people tampered with their Tylenol. He has people tampering with your children. Tampering with your money. Tampering with your business tampering with your ministry. Are you following me? Watch this. The word tamper, I looked this up just this morning. It has to do with meddling, especially for the purpose of damaging or misusing something. Like, like a person would tamper with a lock or, or, or tamper with your records. And, and it's, always, it's always underhanded. It's always corrupt. And it's always with evil intent. Very sneaky. And so, and so the devil, the devil wants to tamper with stuff. He, 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 he wants to get his hands in your stuff all in your life and, and, try, and try to disrupt what God has for you. Are you hearing me? And so um, as, a, uh, as a result of all this tampering, some, uh, some reforms and regulations were put into place. This was in 